Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Tierra Pace. So today is your first time here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If today is not your first time here, thank you guys for being a part of the community. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use credit cards as a beginner. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's go. is you have to have a credit card on your credit reports in order to see a good credit score no matter what you have on your credit right now if you do not have a credit card you are missing out on having good credit because you have and you need to have a credit card with credit cards they play 30% of your credit scoring so what this means is 30% of your scoring is calculated off having a credit card so if you're someone who does not have a credit card, it is highly recommended from me that you go ahead and get you a secured credit card in order for you to get started. Unless you already have decent credit or if you know someone who already has credit cards who are using them correctly, you can ask them to see about allowing you to become an authorized user on that credit card. Now, the thing about having credit cards is you have to use it responsibly. With having a credit card, you have to keep that credit card percentage under 30 percent this is called a utilization so with utilization each month each card has to be under 30 percent utilization utilization just means that you cannot go over that percentage so each card that you have on file that's reporting to the credit bureaus you want to make sure that if your credit limit is 300 you times that by the 30 percent so you can know exactly how much you cannot go over if you have a second credit card and that credit limit is a thousand dollars this means you need to take that thousand dollars and you need to times that by 30 percent so that you can know how much you cannot go over on that card as well so for each credit card that you have you want to make sure that you know how much to stay under for your utilization once you know exactly how much you need to stay under for your utilization you're not going to get close to that 30 percent just because it tells you to stay under 30 percent does not mean you're going to get close to 30 percent because the higher your utilization is the lower your credit scoring will become also keep in mind that with each card you have to keep your utilization low for each card because each card will have its own reporting date but then at the end of each month they will have a calculation of your total utilization for all cards together but even though they have a calculation for all of your cards totaling for that one number of your utilization you also want to keep each card utilization down so a good rule of thumb for that is to just make sure that each card you know how much your utilization is and that you're staying between 10 to 20 percent at the most i always highly recommend to stay between five to ten percent because the better it looks on your credit reports it's going to allow your credit to look even better to lenders when it's time for you to begin making purchases as well now the things about credit cards is there are two ways credit cards can help you or hurt you with helping you credit cards help your credit score if you use them responsibly meaning if you keep your utilization low another thing to remember about credit cards is the lenders who give you those credit cards they want to see you using those cards so you don't want to have a credit card that you're not using at all because some lenders will close that credit card out and then it'll drop your score because now that account has closed and you don't have that same amount available to you within the credit limit another thing about credit cards is the lender want to see you use that card and the more you use that card the more credit they will give you meaning your credit limit will increase in time as you begin to use that card if you're someone who has credit cards and you're not using that card you want to make sure you use your card at least once or twice per year the reason you need to use your credit card once or twice per year is to make sure that that account stays active anytime you have a credit card and you allow it to close that's going to affect your credit reporting because that limit is not available to you and it's going to bring it down especially if you're someone who already has a high utilization 
So just make sure that if you have a credit card, you are using it at least once or twice per year. The thing to know about credit cards is the more you have available to you within your credit limit, the better it will look onto your credit report. So if you are someone who's starting out, maybe you have a security card or a lower amount that's only going to equal to maybe $200 or $500 within your credit limit. You want to make sure that you're using those cards responsibly and that you begin to apply over time for more credit so that it'll be available to you. When it's time for you to apply for things and you're trying to make big purchases, lenders will always look at your credit file to see if they can trust you with those payments. So if you're trying to get a vehicle, a mortgage, you want to make sure that you have credit history reporting and that those cards are cards that hold up within your history. So that means you're going to have cards that maybe have a year active account, two year active accounts. The longer the length is within your credit reports, that means that that's going to help you and help the lender to determine that you are responsible. So make sure that you're paying those credit cards on time and that you're not rolling over over bigger balances again that's going to reflect back on your utilization keeping that low because when it's time for you to make that big purchase for your mortgage or for your auto loan they're going to look at how well you pay those payments they're also going to look at how much credit limit you have available to you the more you have available to you without having excessive utilization where you're over that amount they're going to see that you are responsible and that they can trust you. So if you're someone who has high utilization on your credit cards, you want to make sure that you're working to pay those down so that you don't have higher utilization when it's time for you to go and apply for your auto loan or maybe your mortgage. If you are someone who has high utilization, this is going to affect your credit and it's going to allow your credit to begin going down instead of coming up. The purpose of your credit cards is only to show that you are responsible on paper. No matter how much income you have, if you cannot prove that you're responsible when it comes to lending money to, they are going to automatically deny you. So always keep your utilization low and again I recommend in keeping it under 5 to 10 percent per card and at the end it's going to round up to one percentage number for your utilization overall and that's going to be shown on your credit reports as well but to make sure that you're keeping your utilization low just know the amount that's needed for each card so that you don't get confused and you don't go missing dates if you're not using any credit cards make sure you begin using your credit card at least once per year and if you're someone who doesn't have credit cards go ahead and begin establishing your credit card so that when it's time for you to apply for your big purchases you can get approved because you have these cards available to you without maxing them out i hope this video helped you guys and if you have any questions about how to use your credit card or if you need advice on where to get your credit cards make sure you watch this playlist that's going to pop up next because it will teach you where to get different credit cards and how you can begin getting higher credit limits and i'll talk to you in the next video